the little black pussy. All the little pussies are mad. Let me show you what they did last night when I when it was raining and I didn't sleep here. I don't know what they were trying to do here. Look, uh, those are my items right there. Right there. Looks like, uh, yeah, that's the blanket that I left up on the bleachers. That's the shirt that I got from the Sims. It looked like somebody was sleeping on a box right there. I'm Terry Ashford reporting for you my items, and I wasn't sleeping out here on the bleachers on August 10th night. Today is August 11th, the evening, and uh, after that was realized earlier today, I'm coming back right now. It's about 10 something, and the black suitcase that was right there is gone. <laughs> I placed the black suitcase right there and it's gone and inside of the black suitcase was these items that's on the ground right here the soap right there the boost the cereal the boost the boost the boost there should be five bottles of boost one two three that's four of them we've counted right there and let's go and look where the uh <laughs> Let's go ahead and check it out where the um, suitcase was. Inside of the suitcase was the alcohol right here, like next to something where somebody was burning some shit. And uh, this is the wrap that I used when I beat the boy's ass and had to wrap my arm the next day. This is the uh, hydrogen peroxide that was inside of the suitcase. This is the lotion. And this is the cup. Here you have the tops for everything out here. That's the soap inside of the suitcase. And that's the maroon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The maroon water bottle. I'm Terry Ashford reporting for you. Stolen items that were simply left here. And we expected somebody to do something with it. As we arrived here on tonight here, two Washington DC Metropolitan Police officers were right there at Howard Place at Georgia Avenue getting off the bus route 70. Getting onto the bus route 70 I sat down and there came a Muslim black male that came and hit the pole really hard that shook the entire seat as he walked by to choose the seat behind me. I had to go ahead and let him know that we will do the same thing that we've done before in that situation and there we are some man got on the bus with loud 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 music I'm talking about he was really really trying really hard we left it at that got off the bus and we knew exactly how to handle those situations we want to repeat for you here scams and they wanted to try to hook somebody up with themselves now what is this did they climb over underneath the fence with my items from up up the uh, up top there, these are my blankets. And guess what? One of the reasons why I didn't sleep on the blanket last night is because I found that the mafia had put shit on the blanket. It smelled like shit even after I had washed it. So somebody must like the smell of shit. Let's go ahead and see what else is happening over here. We see a little black item right over here. Yeah, we don't know what it is. But let's check it out and see for you. Nope, that's not mine. I thought it was my item, but it wasn't. So it doesn't look like that the black case that I had is still here. I'm Terry Ashford reporting for you. It's right up there. So no, that's not my black case. That's a man pissy. I guess here when I got here. I don't know. Reporting it for you. They follow and they want to fight. We'll make them fight. Now what we're looking at here is the bleachers where I left the black eye black case. And what we have reported for you is this man here waiting, snuck up behind the pole uh, as 
I was the only one that was here. And I don't know how all that happened, but it is what it is. And it looked like the same one that was before. Do we care? The answer is no, we don't. <laughs> we don't give a flying fuck about nobody who does shit like that. But it does look like somebody was using the alcohol to burn something like some type of drugs or something. And Terry Dwayne Nashville don't do drugs. Okay, now I'm, I'm just showing you how bad they think they are. In the middle of the night, following, they come doing this. That's how bad they think they are. They so bad, they wanna, they be wanting to follow shit and try to do all that crazy shit. And they, uh, and they following us. And that's what I want to show you. That's why we're doing it like this. Can I get my video credit? That's why we're doing it like this. They're following us and want to be bad. And we're going to show, we would like to show everybody how bad they are. Mm -hmm. That's all. All that yipping and yapping with all that craziness. You're supposed to be scared. We're willing to show them who's scared. Terry Ashford reporting it for you. We're willing to show the little monkers. We're ready to show the little, little monkers who's scared. Terry Ashford reporting it for you. Terry Ashford reporting it for you. How you doing? Thank you so much for uh, waving for the camera. Hmm? Thank you so much for waving for the camera. <laughs> ah, there you go, you little faggots. They be running around, they run around all in the middle of the night. You supposed to be scared of them. We're going to show this motherfucking faggot who's scared of them. Reporting it for you. So you can get it. So we have it just in case something has to happen. That's what we say to you. Running, <laughs> running behind people in the night. <laughs> You're so motherfucking smart, you old faggot ass black niggers. All right, that's what we was doing here. Oh, faggots. Terry Ashford reporting it for you. We also identified three cop officers who appeared to be dropping them off. Like they're going to be part of somebody's life that's successful. And we've already identified the cops that's associated with that situation. Okay, let's do this. Don't, don't come up. Do not come bothering me, sir. Step back, please. No, you can't. Step back, please. And I'm not going to ask you again. I'm not going to ask you again. All, all, all nothing. It's the middle of the night. You have no reason to be bothering people in the middle of the night. You have no reason to be coming here in the middle of the night bothering people. So I'm asking you not to, to step up on me again. Prior to this engagement that we have right now, we can talk. No, we can't. No, we can talk. We can definitely talk. We can't talk. I walk here. Let me get out of this nigger's face. Child, please. I don't even fucking talk to no niggers. I don't even talk to no fucking niggers. Uh -huh. That's what I am. That's exactly what I am. I don't even fucking talk to no niggers. Take your little black ass on, you black nigger. <laughs> talk to no goddamn black nigger in the middle of the fucking night. <laughs> you faggot. Anything else, cops? Bitch. You faggot ass cops. <laughs> He's still talking to me, just like the one before, remember? He's still talking to me, like just like the one before, right? And I'm trying to avoid killing him. <laughs> Take your black nigger ass on, bitch. I'm not going to jail for killing nobody. All right, there you go. We're going to go ahead and post this now so we all can be ready for whatever happens. He's still talking to me, just like the one before, remember? He's still talking to me like it, just like the one before, right? And I'm trying to avoid killing him. <laughs> Take your black nigger ass on, bitch.